Don't be a Scrooge this holiday season. No bar humbugs. This is all about kindness, and that's where we begin this hour with our Kindness 101 series with Steve Hartman. In it, we share stories built around kindness and character and the people who have mastered those qualities. Today's lesson is gratitude in honor of Thanksgiving. Steve and his kids introduce us to someone who has always been grateful, even when he didn't seem to have much to be grateful for. Good morning and welcome to Kindness 101. This, of course, is my daughter, Meryl. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Today's class is about gratitude. And for definition, we go live to my brother Emmett at the dictionary desk. Emmett. Gratitude is a strong feeling of appreciation or thankfulness for someone or something. You know, you guys are always grateful to your mom and me whenever we take you on vacation or buy you a gift or something. But it's interesting. You've never once showed your appreciation for the bathroom sink. I bet I have once. No, you've never thanked me for the I'm sink. Sure. If I'm to go around the house and say I'm thankful for this carpet and that table, it might take a while. <laughs> you don't have enough time to show gratitude for everything in, in the world. Yeah. Being grateful for the things we take for granted is hard for everyone. Fortunately, I have a story to help with that. This is a recent addition to our archive, but destined to become a lifelong teaching tool for finding gratitude. What may look like a house to you is something much more magnificent to the boy inside. What did you think when you saw this place for the first time? We said it's second heaven. Second heaven? Yes. You pass through this before you go to the big heaven. That is what I believe so. He means that literally. And why wouldn't he? Abraham and his brother James are from Sierra Leone. They were homeless before finding their way to an orphanage and eventually to their new family outside Charlotte, North Carolina. Ooh. Joe and Jamie Walker adopted them last year, and they say the boys have been wide-eyed with wonder ever since. It's fun. Every little thing that we take for granted, I hit the button to open our front gate. Dad. Everything is magic to them. It's magic. <laughs> Whether it's a present just yes. showing up on Christmas morning yes. or something mundane like a car wash, the kids are constantly blown away. But the biggest surprise came on Abraham's birthday. You had birthdays before you came here. How did you celebrate them? That would be a crazy question. Why is that a crazy question? I never celebrate them. I never knew it was my birthday. So when the song started and his mom appeared with that glowing tribute, Abraham was overwhelmed. When I see the cake, I thought that is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. The birthday cake. It's not just a birthday cake. It's a blessing cake. A blessing cake. And what a blessing it is. <laughs> that once a year, friends and family gather just to honor our existence. Most of us take that for granted, but not in this house, not anymore. Just being reminded that we need to stop and be super grateful for what we do have. A good wish for America from this American dream come true. The boy who single-handedly renamed the birthday cake joins us now. Hello, Abraham. Hello, sir. When you blew out your candles, did you make a wish? To God to keep my family alive and protect them and shower them with more happiness in their lives. Uh, do you have any advice for people who look around their lives and can't seem to find much, if anything, to be grateful for? There's always something to be grateful for. Even the moment that you're alive, you need to be grateful for that. So even when you're homeless, one of the poorest people on the planet you still found reason to be thankful? Yes. But it wouldn't seem to us like you would have anything to be thankful for. The one thing that I was so thankful for is I never get sick. You never got I, sick. I so never you were thankful sick. for your health, even yeah. when you were homeless. Yep. A lot of people in this country, across the political spectrum, think that this country's going in the wrong direction. What are they missing? They're missing gratitude. Appreciating what you have now, you always need to give thanks in each and every second, whatever you are doing. Well, Abraham, thank you very much for the perspective that you've given to all Americans. And, and of course, we're very grateful that you joined us. Thank you. Bye. You know, for most of us, because we do take so much for granted, gratitude has to be a conscious effort. 
So here's a suggestion. This is something that we've done in our family. At the beginning of the day, take 10 pennies and put them in your left pocket. Then spend the day actually looking for things that you're grateful for. Once you find one, move one penny from your left pocket into your right pocket. And we guarantee at the end of the day, you'll have a lot more than a dime. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to stay kind. Whoa. Hartman family. That yeah, last like, line was just really a good. gem. I'm just so, so nuts good about those Meryl last and lines. Wow. But I love the 10 penny thing. And we used to have a gratitude journal where you write down everything. Then you got tired of writing stuff down because yeah. you start taking it for granted. Yep. Abraham is such a good reminder. May we all, may he and his brother have many, many more birthday for cakes. Sure. Grateful for I love second. that story. Yeah, that's, that's an example of how you just be present. Right, because it's all about perspective. Yes. We are in trying times, and there are some things that make us sad and bring yeah. us down, but there are so many things to be grateful for. I love that story. and love awesome. his family. And yeah. love that house. Beautiful kitchen. Beautiful house. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful kitchen. Yeah. I love it. Room for one more, Gail. Love it all.